Edney, and I'm honored to be here today to present the Blue Apple Awards to you all. The inaugural Be One Good Apple Award was created to exemplify our democratic values here in Henderson County. A local Western North Carolina artist created the lovely blue apples that you see today. Allison, did you did she make it? I don't think so. Um, those were created by a local artist, Allison Chisholm. Um, so if you see her, if you, if you know her, please send our regards. So you might be thinking, why on earth are we giving out blue apples? If my name did not give it away yet, I grew up in the middle of a beautiful apple orchard on the southern end of our county. From my childhood to my profession, I know just how important apples are to the industry and economy of Hendersonville, North Carolina. Apples are a great source of revenue for farmers in this area. They draw in visitors, tourists, and businesses with every new season. Just as the apple industry makes our community inclusive, us Democrats hope to do the same. Our apples are blue because they stand for democratic values. We want to be good apples in our community. We aim to elevate this conversation. This is beyond politics. This is about paying it forward. The three important values and pillars for the Democratic Party of Henderson County include civil rights, community involvement, and education. And those are the awards that I'll be giving out today. I'm gonna to start with our community involvement winner. As a new precinct chair myself, I've seen firsthand the involvement that our first award recipient brings to our party. That recipient is Ms. Cindy Ellis. Cindy grew up in a military family, which gave her the groundwork for experiences and knowledge abroad and here at home in the U.S. She has spent 17 years teaching in a classroom here in Henderson County and an additional 10 years as an instructional coach and an assistant principal. But beyond that amazing professional career, Cindy is a volunteer. She has worked tirelessly to organize precincts here in our county. Over a year and a half ago, Cindy created a discussion group to listen to the needs and concerns of precinct chairs. That led her to creating vote builder training sessions for precinct chairs and officers like myself. Cindy sends us monthly newsletters and encourages us so that the burden is not felt so greatly on any one precinct. Cindy is currently working with Princess Ferguson and the Canvas Training and Planning Committees to provide us with training and actual walks with mentors so that we know how to canvas. This supports our GOTV goals in the county so that we can support our candidates. Beyond that, Cindy is a faithful and valuable office volunteer at headquarters and she regularly participates in all meetings. Cindy isn't just a volunteer, Cindy is our volunteer. And today we would like to recognize her with the first Blue Apple Award for community involvement. Cindy. Yay. Our next, next recipient is education. I had the proud privilege of hanging out with Dr. Ray Stone last night, so I know some of this information firsthand. Ray was born in Franklin County, North Carolina. He joined the Navy and attended Wake Forest University on the GI Bill. He went on to earn his master's and his doctorate from UNC Chapel Hill. Dr. Stone spent his life serving others as a teacher, school administrator, college administrator, county commissioner, and a state educational leader. Dr. Stone even assisted the administrations of Presidents Lyndon B. Johnson and Jimmy Carter. The first North Carolina governor to call upon Stone was Governor Luther Hodges, who brought Stone to the Capitol to organize and direct an initiative to involve citizens in the school improvement rather than resist the 1954 order from the Supreme Court to desegregate schools. Governor Terry Sanford named Stone his education assistant, and Stone wrote speeches and developed policy, a job that took him to every one, all 100 counties in our great state. 
1962, while serving as the education assistant, a commission was formed to study what do we do with kids beyond high school. The commission recommended a statewide system of community colleges. Governor Sanford directed Stone to make that happen. The Community Colleges Act was established in 1963, and it led to the statewide system of community colleges that we know today. Dr. Stone said that Sanford told him, this is your baby, you deliver it. <laughs> and he did. Stone developed uh, and helped to establish 21 colleges in our great state. On December 27, 1963, Stone was chosen as the founding president of the Sand Hills Community College, and he remained in that position until 1989. Stone told me he looked at the community, he looked at its population, and he determined what programs we should offer so that we can educate people to fill the job needs in that area. It's a simple formula. If we educate students, we can create great employees. Dr. Stone recognized that, and that's why we're honoring him today with our next Blue Apple. Dr. Ray Stone. Professor Emeritus upon his retirement in 2000. Clay and his partner moved to Henderson County in 2002. And during staffing shortages, he continued to work with veterans at the VAMC Asheville until 2014. Through the first Hendersonville First Congregational Church, Clay became active for LGBTQ rights, including participation in Love Welcomes All, which is an informal group of seven progressive houses of worship here in Henderson County. Clay has become an avid writer of letters to the editor, <laughs> with spelling information regarding homosexuality, particularly from a medical standpoint. During the debate regarding North Carolina's marriage amendment, he made numerous presentations and participated in several panel discussions supporting LGBTQ rights and opposing the amendment. In this process, Clay became involved with the Henderson County Democratic Party, and he served as our chair from 2013 to 2014. More recently, Clay has become involved with the LGBTQ Democrats of Henderson County. He is currently serving as that organization's 11th Congressional District Chair. This position helps to organize county and college chapters. On a more local level, Clay recently organized and chartered the LGBTQ Democrats of Henderson County. This is the first of its kind in the 11th Congressional District and in Western North Carolina as a whole. Clay represents the true, true spirit of a civil rights leader, and I have a feeling he's just getting warmed up. Clay? Yeah. <laughs> Put me this close to a microphone <laughs> and it's podium without using it. So <laughs> here I am. Richard said, Keep this short. Well, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> first of all, I want to thank you for this award. Ten years ago, approximately ten years ago, Richard and I were sitting at breakfast. Can you hear me in the back? Yes. Uh, we're sitting at breakfast one morning, and like retirees are supposed to do, I think I was working on my seventh or eighth retirement at the time. There were like 17. 
we lost contact, uh, uh, lost number of them. Sitting at breakfast one morning, reading the obituaries, uh, like good retirees are supposed to do. Uh, I don't know why, just that's what you're supposed to do. So I was reading one, and I was struck by one that was a young man that was a very short one. It was, it was basically, he lived, he died, and we buried him. It was the angriest obituary I have ever read. I later found out, and this is a small town in which we live, and this is via the grapevine, but I found out this young man was a student at a local school, one of our local high schools, was well, uh, was well liked, was well, uh, was well educated, he was a good student, he was a good athlete, he was an all-American kid. Apparently, he had confided in a trusted friend that he was gay. And the trusted friend went to the boy's parents who were professed Christians and told them what their son said. The parents threw him out of the house. The boy went, had been betrayed by his best friend, had been betrayed by his so-called Christian home. He had no place to turn. He went out into, drove his truck out into a, um, a, a back road someplace here in Henderson County, pulled off the road, took out a gun, and shot himself to death. As a psychiatrist, as a Christian, and as a gay man, I repeatedly asked myself, how can this possibly happen in the 21st century? I've learned a lot since then, and thus the journey began. I want to thank you for this award today. I accept it in honor of all of those who are struggling to find acceptance within themselves, to find acceptance within a society that is not always accepting, and to, to honor all of those who are struggling, and I including our guest speaker, Ms. Ms. Earls, and everyone in this room who are struggling to make our society indeed more accepting of all of God's children. Thank you. aren't real, so don't eat them. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica Taylor. That was, I'm glad you laughed. Uh, you know, uh,